As we are on the eve of Jerome Powell coming out talking about the Fed rate hikes in the US, XRP going absolutely insane today, 25% up on the day, touching 50 cents, absolutely crazy. We haven't been here for a long time, but what is coming for XRP is the final outcome very, very soon to be landing at our doorsteps. Well, let's break it down in this video. Taking a look at the global cryptocurrency market, 1.28% or back up to $1.18 trillion. Bitcoin there, 28060. ETH having a great day at 17.95. And we can see XRP, the number six highest ranked cryptocurrency. The numbers all in green. There is not a single bit of red out there. 46 cents currently, 22% up. Look at that, 21% up against Bitcoin. $4 billion in volume, absolutely insane, 279% up in the day, crazy. Why is people buying XRP? Well, we're going to talk a little bit about it right now and ultimately what is going on with the latest in the case. Now, we don't have any official statements, we still don't have an outcome, all we have right now is ultimately sentiment and how people generally believe the XRP case is going to go. Now, there's a couple of things uh, that I wanted to bring to your attention as well as having a look specifically around what is going on. But in terms of XRP and getting out there, and this is a really interesting article and it kind of concepts exactly what Ripple's all about. And it talks about Washington DC's iconic Union Station and ultimately 100,000 people pass through each day. Others are local commuters scrambling to work from DC suburbs amid a course tourist visiting the nation's capital. Amid the chaos looms a large blue billboard with bold white lettering bearing the words crypto means business. Underneath reads the name of the billboard sponsor Ripple. So that's right, Ripple out there in Union Station. What's the point I'm talking about? It says travellers disconnect from the crypto industry likely see the signage as just another corporate advertisement in a train station. Most probably don't know that Ripple is one of the biggest names in the crypto industry, the vendor of a cross-border payment solution that uses blockchain technology. Now, it talks a little bit about ultimately what has kind of been going now remember, this is a two-year-long case that we now are just in anticipation and ultimately waiting for a decision to be made. Um, and it talks a little bit about Gary Gensler and kind of what his view and what his, I guess, his argument for uh, Ripple is. The fact that obviously uh, they were selling or allegedly selling uh, the XRP tokens as securities. But it says, in recent months, Judge Torres, so Annalisa Torres is the judge residing over this case, has sided with Ripple on various motions, including its demands for email emails and other documents from the SEC. Officials to show the agency may have unfairly targeted Ripple. Now, you and I both know that, and I think everybody in the crypto space understands that this is a crusade by Gary Gensler. This is absolutely an ambition he's got, one of which I think he is going to end up with egg on his face. Now, we also know the Hinman files, where ultimately it was defined that things like Bitcoin and Ethereum cannot be securities at the same time than trying to claim XRP is. So the documents are also designed to show how the SEC failed to give Ripple what's known as fair notice that his sales of XRP were illegal since the SEC brought the case well after the company began issuing the tokens. Many observers believe the judge was inclined to side with Ripple given her fair interpretation of the law and criticism of some of the litigation tactics used by the SEC lawyers. We know they tried to ban certain people. They tried to redact statements from certain people. They continue, it says, now, they are not sure with May implosion of the algorithmic blockchain terror and November collapse of FTX crypto exchange, the indictment of its founder, Sam Bank and Freedom fraud charges. Many people inside the crypto this is an outright win for Ripple could be difficult. The collapse of the two largest crypto-friendly banks, Silvergate and Signature, could also have an impact on the outcome. On the core legal issue, though, with whether Ripple offered unregistered securities to the public, I think the SEC has a stronger argument, said Mark Fagel, former regional director of the SEC San Francisco office. The case is complicated by question of whether Ripple had fair notice that XRP was a security. Even there, I don't see a compelling argument under legal procedure, even if missteps by the SEC along the way have brought it to the forefront. And what's really interesting with this is if you sit on the side of the crypto industry you generally believe that xrp has done everything they should do and this is a crusade anyone associated with any part of the sec believes that ripple absolutely have done this in the wrong sense and should be unfortunately held to account on the back of it you can't find a single person that sits one side or the other that may be as part of that other one but let's get into a little bit about the ongoing legal dispute now it says here the ongoing legal developments recently ongoing developments in the case including a letter notion of supplemental authority failed yesterday has made investors more confident about the outcome of of the case, several analysts claim 
By filing this letter, the defendants in the Ripple case sought to support their fair notice defense by referring a separate legal case with Judge Michael E. Wills on the U.S. Banking, uh, Bankruptcy Court of the Southern District of New York, rejected an SEC argument ruling that it was too vague. So just another tactic that they're trying to bring into disrespute. Again, they talk here. Sure, there's been a ton of rumors that the SEC case will be settled in favor of XRP. That's mostly what's behind the price jump. The rumblings are getting louder by the day. He stated, token holders and Ripple execs are obviously confident about the outcome. Independent crypto analysis, Armando Algier also weighed in. New York court is set to rule in the case of XRP in the coming days, he stated via emailed comments. So... We could actually get an outcome of XRP. Like I said, on the chart, XRP looking incredibly strong with a big rise up. Tested this kind of 49 cent range. We wanted to see push over 50. But with the Fed case coming tomorrow, the rate hikes, we could see XRP run once again, breaking 50 cents. There isn't a lot of support then on its way up to potentially 55, 56 cents, as well as the rest of the global crypto market. It's going to be an interesting day for the markets in general, but certainly XRP right now, every day is one step nearer to seeing exactly where this case settlement goes. I firmly believe that XRP is going to win the case. And I guess the point here is look at the movement in the chart when people do believe that's going to be the case. 23% on the day. Imagine when the case comes out and Ripple do if they win. Walk away as victors in this two-year-long battle. Absolutely crazy to see. But right now, if you hold an XRP, congratulations. It's going absolutely to the moon. But let me know in the comments down below, where do you think XRP is going to be once the case hits? What's your plan with your holding of XRP? And as ever, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. It does absolutely mean the world to me if you join our fantastic community. There's also some great links in the description. Go and check them out. Get yourself some cheaper trading fees over on Mexi, as well as our NFT project that we launched as part of the channel. And as ever, don't forget to leave a like and a comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.